It's a little bit windy. Just, just a tad bit. Okay, welcome back to the van. I know I said I wasn't gonna make any videos regarding doing the van up, but I haven't had time to make a video this week because I've been so busy getting this place sort of kitted out, ready for adventures. I've got about two hours left before the sun goes down, and the plan was I've come down to Gwivian Towns and we're gonna go for a nice walk on the beach, but the tide is in so far, I can't even get down there. So here's what I've been up to with the van. I completely stripped out all of the ply lining and the floor. You will not believe some of the things I found behind the walls. So I've literally just taken off the ply lining and I think I've found a I think I found a dead body. Somebody's trousers. Um somebody else's trousers. Somebody's coat. And what it appears to be Oh, what? What even is that for? Ah. I also ripped the floor up just to see how what the metal condition was like underneath. Ah, looks fine. It's just dirty. Sweet. I reckon with the amount of plaster I've scraped off this floor, I've probably halved my fuel consumption in this van. Swept out quite nicely. We had one casualty. Sorry, broom. All right, floor looks pretty solid. Still a bit of resin or something on there, but pretty solid. Once everything was ripped out, I decided it was time to insulate the walls because if I'm gonna be staying in here in winter and doing some camping and things, then it needs to be warm. I flipped the floor because it was all covered in crap, cut out the doorstep, but now it's time for the recycled plastic bottle loft insulation, which I've heard is one, Good for the environment because it's recycled plastic bottles. And we're gonna put that all in here on the ceiling, all in here, and then put the vapor cover on. And then literally you just put the foil on. I'm still gonna insulate up here with the plastic, but I need that to kind of tuck it in behind there because it keeps falling out. I've tried to tape this stuff in, but it's just not working. Not bad for a day's work. Insulate behind here, behind here under the floor, flip the floor, put it back on, swept underneath and everything. And attach these battens as well. And the cladding will go all the way down and hopefully join up with that. And I'm not sure about that side yet. So as you can see, since we were last here, I've now got a ceiling. So I'm putting the, putting the roof up currently as we speak. And I'm gonna put spotlights along this strip here. But rather than just start drilling through I'm going to take this plank down, I've done a test piece, which should, I mean obviously that's not in the middle and the ones I do will be in the middle, but yeah, this seems to fit quite nicely, this should look quite nice. Now, the spotlights aren't wired up or anything, so I can't switch them on because of my leisure battery hasn't arrived yet. I can probably give you an idea of what the lights look like when they're on by just temporarily connecting the wires to a battery, so check this out. Okay, so that's one set, that's the lights down the middle. And I also have this strip lighting for, well, it's mood lighting really, just around the outside. So after that, I've attached my surfboard to the wall here just to give me somewhere to put it really. Um, and it looks, looks all right. It doesn't really get in the way when I'm sat on the sofa. The sofa now has some nice cushions as well, uh, which will be fabric. I'd probably like to show you just how this bed pulls out because when it's in couch form, it's pretty comfortable here, you know? I, I, I quite like this, but when it's in bed form, that's how I'm gonna be staying in it overnight. Other than this horrendous wind we've got going on, that's not a bad view. Actually got somewhere to keep my towels as well, which, which makes it even better. So here's the 
plan for the channel of what I want to do now that I've got this van. I want to do a lot more sort of like stealth camping and things. I want to go to like nice little like quiet beaches and just stay overnight in the van. It's going to enable me, as I said before, to get out more and explore more. You know, I might be able to go a bit further afield, you know, like I don't tend to do a lot up around the Bude way, but you know, this van will probably give me the opportunity to do that because I could probably go up there, stay overnight and then go snorkeling or surfing or whatever I want to do the next day. So fingers crossed next week, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program where we get out and explore Cornwall again. I know I said I wasn't going to convert this van into a camper and I'm not really, it's kind of going to be more of a day van, but it just means that I'll get better use out of it. It's got to be warm if I'm going to be sleeping in this for the, in the winter. So that was the main priority. I had to put ceiling in it anyway. But obviously these things do take time. I will do a full van tour when it's finished, a proper one. I'll see you next week.